is this really cool circular motif that looks like water waves. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the water wheel motif. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some acrylic yarn size four. So we're gonna start with our base ring. And so for that, you're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. And now to close off this ring, we're going to do a slip stitch onto the first chain that you made. So into that first chain, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull through to close. And we're gonna be working into the center of the ring. If you can, if you pull your chains apart, you'll see a little hole there. And that's where you wanna go into. So now for row one, you're gonna start by chaining three, which counts as a double crochet. And now we're going to do one double crochet into the ring. So into the center, do a double crochet. Now we're gonna do the following combination five times. So the repeat starts by doing a chain two and then two double crochets into the ring. So here is one and two. And that is my first repetition. I need this four more times. So chain two and then two double crochets into the ring. There is one. And two. So I need this three more times. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so I just did my fifth repetition of chain two and two double crochets. So now to finish off this row, we just wanna do a chain two. And then we're gonna do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. So onto the top of that chain three, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull through to close. That there is the end of row one. Now for row two, we're gonna start by doing a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And then into the same spot, into the third chain that you're currently in, into there, we're going to do two double crochets. There is one. And two. Now we're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch. So into the next double crochet, one double crochet. And now we're going to start the repeat. So the repeat starts by doing a chain three, one, two, three. Then you're going to skip the chain two and into the next stitch, you're going to do three double crochets. This is my third one into the same stitch. And now continuing the repeat, we're gonna do one double crochet into the next stitch. And that ends the repeat. I'm gonna do it one more time with you. We're going to chain three, skip the next chain two, and then into the next stitch, you're gonna do three double crochets. So that's one, two, and three. And now into the next stitch, you're going to do one double crochet. So you need to do this, let's see, uh, three more times. Do that all the way around and I'll see you when you're done. Okay, so I just did my last repetition here of chain three, three double crochets into the next stitch and then one double crochet into the next. So now to finish off this row, we wanna do a chain three skip the last chain two, and then do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. So into that third chain, insert your hook, grab the yarn, and pull through to close. This here is the end of row two. Now for row three, we're going to do a chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And now into that same spot, you're going to work two double crochets. So we're going to work two double crochets that's one, and into the same spot, two. 
Now into the next stitch, you're going to work one double crochet. So essentially into the next uh, double crochet, this one here, into there, a double crochet. And now over the next two double crochets, we're actually gonna work a double crochet two together. So for that, we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook into the first stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You're gonna have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's a double crochet two together. Continuing on, we're gonna start the repeat for this row. The repeat starts by chaining four. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to skip the chain three and you're going to do three double crochets into the next stitch. So into the first double crochet of the group, you're going to work three double crochets. So here is one, two, and three. Then into the next stitch, you wanna do one double crochet. Oh, sorry, I skipped it. This is the next stitch here. Into there, one double crochet. And now you're gonna be left with two double crochets, so you wanna do your double crochet two together. So I'm gonna do that slowly again. We yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and do that again into the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you're gonna have three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's your double crochet two together. And this is what you wanna do all the way around. So the repeat starts at a chain four. I'm gonna do it once again with you. Chain four. Then you're going to skip the three chains here. Then into the next stitch, you're going to work three double crochets. So into the first double crochet of the group, three double crochets. I'm gonna do this a bit faster now. Now we're gonna do one double crochet into the next stitch. And now over the next two stitches, you're gonna work a double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, do that again into the next stitch. You're gonna have three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's the repeat. You wanna do this all the way around and I'll see you when you're done. Okay, I just went all the way around. And so at the very end here, I did my last repetition of chain four, three double crochets into the next stitch, one double crochet and two double crochets together. So now we're gonna finish off by doing a chain four and then doing a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. So we find the third chain, insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull through it to close. This here is the end of row three. Now for row four, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. And now we're going to do two more double crochets into that same spot. So that's one and two. Now we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So one double crochet here, one double crochet into the next. And now we're going to do two double crochets together over the next two stitches. So for that, we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and do that again into the next one. And I just wanna point out that that next one is your double crochet two together of the previous row. So we yarn over into the stitch, grab the yarn and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we can actually start the row repeat. So the repeat starts by chaining five. So one, two, three, four, five. 
we're going to skip the chain, um, chain four space. And then we're going to do three double crochets into the first stitch. So that is one, two, and three. Then you're going to do one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So there is one and two. And then you want to do a double crochet two together over the next two stitches. And now you should know how to do that. So I'm just going to do that faster. And that ends the repeat. As you can see now, these are kind of curving like that. And that's because of that double crochet two together that you're working kind of off to the right of the groups. Um, so for this row, I'm going to verbalize the repeat. It's quite intuitive now that you've done it a couple times. So for this row, the repeat starts at a chain five, skip the chain four, three double crochet into the first double crochet of the group, then one double crochet into each of the next two, and then two double crochets together into the last two. So do that all the way around and I'll see you when you're done. Okay. I just did my last repetition here. So now to finish up this row, we're going to do a final chain five. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you started with. That there is the end of row four. Now for row five, we're going to start by doing a chain three. And then we're going to do um, two double crochets into the same spot that we're currently in. So here is one and two. Now we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three. And now we're going to do a double crochet two together into the next two stitches. Now we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six and then do that same thing all the way around. So essentially we're gonna be skipping the chain five of the previous row, then doing three double crochets into the first stitch, one into each of the next three stitches, and then I double crochet two together. Let me do that once with you. I've chained six, three double crochets into the first. This is two, this is three. Then we're going to do one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So that's one, sorry, this is kind of slippery today, two and three. And then we're going to do a double crochet two together into the next two stitches. And that's that. So now you can go around with the same repetition of chain six, three double crochets into the next stitch, one into each of the next three, and then a double crochet two together. Um, this is row five. Now you can actually grow this as wide as you want or as big as you want. And all you're going to be doing with the repetition is you're going to be adding one more double crochet and one more chain. So for example, this is a chain six, three into the first stitch, one into each of the next three, and then double crochet two together. So the next row, instead of chain six, it would be chain seven. Here you would still maintain the three in the first stitch, but add one more double crochet in the middle. So instead of three, for the next row it would be four. For the next one to be five, for the next one to be six. And same with the chains, this one is a chain six. For the next one it'd be chain seven, for the next one it'd be chain eight. So after this, this is row five, I'm going to do row six, seven, and eight. So I'm going to add three more rows. And then when I'm done, you're just going to be doing your slip stitch into the top of the chain three, cut off your yarn and thread your ends through. 
And look how cool. Okay, I lied to you guys. My yarn was driving me crazy. So I couldn't do row six, seven, or eight. I just stopped at five. But you can already see, you know, the movement. So if you made it wider, you're going to have a bigger motif than mine. But this is what's cool about it. You can make it as big or small as you want. And it adds this really cool kind of water waves effect. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it. Just do it.